All right, so the Outreach and Engagement Working Group uh, was formerly the Marketing Working Group, but Outreach and Engagement has been a much better description of what that group has been working on in the last couple of years. Uh, it meets every other week on Wednesday, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, anyone is welcome to join us anytime. We have a pretty regular group of folks, but people are always allowed to drop in and out based on um, your interest or feedback or um, other, other questions that you might have to bring to that group. Um, we are really focused on outreach to uh, mostly, for the most part, outside of the community. So um, new adopters, potential new adopters, um, the wider open source community and the wider sort of uh, libraries, archives community. Um, but we do also talk a lot about stakeholders. So folks like um, university administrators or other folks who may be in our community institutions who may only have a dim understanding of what Sanvera is, but who need to have an understanding of it uh, in order to support what folks are doing locally. That's something we've been talking about a lot lately. So this group uh, creates and maintains a lot of messaging, uh, all of our communication channels. We talk about that a lot. Uh, materials. So if we ever need anything um, you know, that, that may end up being a paper handout or something that would be shared at a conference that, that falls to this group. Um, we talk a lot also about events and conferences, both um, events within the Simvera community, but also other events in the ecosystem, um, places where we want to make sure that there's someone from the community presenting and um, thinking about where I should spend my time to, to reach other folks. Um, and the group is always looking for feedback or requests. If you think there's something missing that fits into outreach and engagement in the community, we really wanna know. Um, this group's really good at, at putting their heads together and, and really making things happen. So if you're new to the community or have been around for a while and you think, oh, why doesn't Sam Vera have this or that? Um, definitely let me know or, or join us at a meeting or let us know in our Slack channel and we'll be happy to take that up and make it happen. Now, the main thing this group has been working on um, for, for many months now has been slowly remaking the samvera.org website. Um, remaking all of the content, um, updating it, simplifying it, and um, changing the architecture. And we moved off of a WordPress site and onto um, uh, pages that are hosted on GitHub. And a big part of that work has been the work that Adam has been doing um, to help our group. So I'm gonna hand things over to Adam to sort of walk you through some of what we've been working on lately. Oops. All right. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just, hopefully everyone can see that. Okay. My eight windows that are all I'll open. Um, but yeah, I'll just give a quick overview, I guess, of uh, some of the work we've been doing with the uh, Sanvera.org website, which, um, as Heather mentioned, is just uh, it's now a static site. It's built with the Next.js framework and hosted uh, for free um, just via GitHub pages. Um, so I'll just you know, take a quick little tour um, over the homepage. I guess for starters, maybe uh, you'll notice that the, the old school Sanvera Connect 2018 University of Utah group photo on the homepage has now been replaced with a new slider, which um, we just implemented about a week or two ago and showcases some legacy and emerging Sanvera applications. Um, like Hyrax, Serverless Triple F, Avalon, Haiku, and Clover Triple F. Um, 
these uh, uh, app banners are also synced up to their respective GitHub APIs. So, you know, may give visitors a direct source to latest versions and documentation. Um, next, you know, just kind of scrolling down the page, we show some latest news items followed by uh, a quick overview of the types of applications which are powered by Sandvar Solutions. Um, we have an updated community statement and an updated partners list, which um, features institutional links and uh, geocode data, so we can you know do some fun display things with uh, tools such as Leaflet. Um, and as Heather mentioned, yeah, in the past six months, we've been moving uh, pretty heavily from having the site being um, uh, exclu exclusively markdown driven to populating uh, data from a CMS. Um, and um, last summer, our working group, we secured a, a nonprofit license from Contentful, which is a, a leading headless CMS provider which gives us um, a few benefits. Number one, it's headless, so we can separate content from display, which gives a lot more flexibility in being able to um, design some of the elements coming from a CMS. It's API friendly, so we can literally push data anywhere. Um, and it's cloud-based, so there's no infrastructure to maintain. Um, here's what contentful uh, looks like it has a nice UI um, where users can get in, basically set up their own schema of data, which contentful refers to as content models. And then um, updating the content, you know, is as simple as um, just interacting with any kind of modern admin web application. So edit, add content, update, publish it here, and then um, that gets communicated out to an application. Um, here's a simple diagram that kind of shows the content models that we have set up for the sandvary.org site. Uh, for example, we have a model called featured application, news item, application type, and then these are basically just served as JSON objects to our UI components. And, um, you know, so this this pattern, this model is, is working seemingly well for Sanvera.org, but in some of our working group meetings, the group started to ask, you know, what if we extended this pattern to other websites, which might be right for design update? So we kind of chatted through it and asked, you know, what if we created content, contentful accounts for Haiku, Hyrax and Avalon and used uh, the sanvera.org um, app as a template to build out these new sites. And Heather also mentioned, you know, it'd be nice to showcase a new Haiku site at open repositories this coming June in Sweden. So we got to work. Uh, we're putting together some wireframes at the moment doing some uh, initial like MVP, I guess like app building, doing some design comps, um, just getting things kind of fleshed out. And we realized this <laughs> uh, is going to be a, a decent amount of work. So we figured why not share the fun? Um, if anyone out there is interested or curious about venturing into the front end React world and getting some experience using popular industry standard, I guess, tooling like Next.js, Tailwind, or some headless uh, UI. Um, now is a great time to join up. Here's some links to some of the, the GitHub repos. Um, yeah, feel free to check out some of the source code, the patterns, explore. Um, or if interested, give a shout out to myself, uh, Heather, or James Griffin, and we would be happy to point you in the right direction to, to help us out.